Hey everyone, I want to follow up my potassium permanganate bath video with a potassium permanganate dip video. The difference between uh, a PP, which is code name for potassium permanganate, um, difference between a PP bath and a dip is that a bath is four hours long and a dip is three minutes long. They both have their uses and you definitely want to make sure you you know which bath or dip, which one you want to do for your fish. I find that a bath is better for treating a tank um, over time just to clean up some, you know, and manage any bacteria in the tank or microorganisms. I find that a dip is good for, again, a three minute dip is good for basically transferring fish from tank to tank and for combating external uh, parasites or lesions and concerns like that. Um, if you want more insight or recommendations in what you think or what you should do with your particular situation um, please let me know a lot of it for me is by by experience and feel um, so i understand if you haven't done this before then you might want a little bit of um, guidance so please let me know okay so for a five gallon bucket that's how i do my dip I use a five gallon bucket. Um, as you can see, I have two buckets. I have one for the bucket that I will be uh, putting the PP in, and then I have one bucket that I will be putting clean water in just to rinse the fish off before putting it back in the tank. So let's start with that. I'm gonna take my aged water. All right, open up my endless amounts of valves. There we go. While that's filling, I will get my dose out. I use 0.32 grams. Um, sorry, let me just start this. Hopefully that should be enough to get it primed. Uh, yeah, we're looking for it. So 0.32 grams per five gallons. So as you can see, I have my scale. It's imperative that you have one of these for your discus room or any fish room, I should say. So 0.32 grams. A little much, 0.4. It's really important that you get this as close to 0.32 grams, again, for your five gallon bucket. There we go, 0.32 grams. Don't spill this anywhere. It will get all over and you won't see it until you spill water and then everything's going to turn pink. It's really annoying if you spill. Here we go. That in there. Do a nice little stir. I think it still needs a little bit of a stir, so I'll get something to do that. I don't like sticking my hand in there. I'll try not to touch. I'm just gonna use a pipe to stir it. There's still, I can still see some crystals at the bottom of the tank, at the bucket. Once I'm satisfied and it's dark enough and I don't think there's any more undissolved potassium permanganate at the bottom, 
I'll leave that alone. I'm just gonna set this down. You don't need much water in this bucket. All you're doing is basically rinsing off the fish. There's my valve. One-handed valve closing is it's tricky. <laughs> so, all right. Leave that there for now. Okay. Move these buckets a little bit. So I've already pre-identified the fish that I want to treat. I'll show you why I want to treat them with, with a PP dip. So let's see. There, this guy right here. See his fins? He's got some little things going on in his fins. Um, that's something I would do a dip for. So let's take him out. You might not see the results right away, but at least, of course that happened. Here's my automatic feeder. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to do things with one hand. All right. All right. Got the fish. Hopefully take him over. Make sure you have a stopwatch out when you do this because it's three minutes exactly. So on my camera, I can see the time. So I'm just gonna put them in and then um, of course this always happens too. All right, so it's 6.54 on my camera. I'm gonna give it three minutes in there. Put this up here for now. So we have three minutes to kill. So basically, I'm gonna round up to seven. So seven, so at 10 minute mark on my phone, um, if you're using a stopwatch, even better. I just can't multitask on the phone right now. So three minutes, I'm gonna take this fish. It's probably hard to see him. Hey, you really can't see him. Um, and then move him around. So we have three minutes to kill. Uh, let me see if there's anything more I can talk about permanganate. It's an oxidizing agent. It is a staple in my fish room and many breeders fish rooms and general hobbyists and everyone um, alike. It's to be used with a good amount of caution and restraint, especially with the dip. You're putting a high concentration in for a short period of time. It will, if you put too much PP in the bucket, you can burn the fish's gills, which is obviously not a great thing to have happen. But if you keep with the recommended dosage and the recommended time, again, three minutes, um, if, you, if you want for some reason dip a whole tank, you can just multiply the 0.32 grams per five gallons times however many gallons you have. And you can do it, I have done it. It's a little trickier and you have to be a little bit quicker. You have to be able to essentially either one, neutralize all that potassium permanganate via hydrogen peroxide or what I use is actually Seachem Prime really quickly at the end of three minutes or you have to do a um, really, really fast water change. If you have the right pumps or drainage system, it can be done. But uh, yeah, I have done dips on pretty much all these tanks at some point or another. But if you want to do a whole tank, I recommend a bath, a four hour bath. can see him in there a little bit. He's not happy with me. All right, we got, according to my counter, we have 10 seconds left and I'm moving him. I'm gonna use my hand because basically this PP is going to 
I was gonna say nail the fish's slime coat. I'm gonna take him out with my hand. Trains from here. And then I take him in this bucket. Yeah, so I should also mention that the potassium permanganate is going to do a number on the fish's slime coat. Again, PP is going to hit anything external on the fish, so um, just be aware that if your fish has open wounds, do not, or I mean, I'm not going to say do not because there are circumstances when you can do it, but I would be cautious with using potassium permanganate on a big open wound. So, yeah. he's back. Now that little thing is still going to be there, but hopefully, um, the dip does something for him in getting rid of or overcoming whatever that little spot on his spots on his fins are. Um, another thing that can happen with potassium permanganate dips is a uh, fin burn. Be careful of that. Your fish's tips of their fins can get a little, they'll turn white a little bit just from the oxidation. Um, it'll, it'll recover. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah. So that's how you do a PP dip, a three minute dip. And you can see how easy that was. Two buckets, PP, a scoop, and a, a scale, along with some aged water, heated. That's also an important thing. All my water here is heated, so make sure you're using water that is heated when you're doing this. And ideally, aged and aerated. Uh, for those of you that made it to the end of this video, that's going to be your <laughs> reward for sticking to the end because you get to hear that piece of advice. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, again, I use my hand to pick up the fish at the end against my uh, preferences to not touch the pee, pee because it's better for the fish. You're already doing a number on the slime coat of the fish and if you use the net, nets just do a uh, do a number on the fish um, so I my hand is actually a better alternative a wet hand is better a better alternative to a, a net uh, in this case so hope that was informative if you want me to redo the video um, for any reason go slower start with something else or whatever you want I'm happy to do it I do PP treatments almost weekly for varying reasons so um, yeah let me know what you think and if you would like to see that in a different light please let me know um, all right thanks again